Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Sunny here. Today we're gonna dive into a question I get all the time and I know you guys are really interested in knowing my thoughts on. It's should you build DR or should you build evasion? And today we're gonna explore what I think is the general answer, but I really want to give you guys my thought on the question so you can make up your own mind because as everything video, the answer depends. Let's jump into it. So here on my screen right now, I have an image uh, of the classes divided into three categories. The link will be in the description. So um, first I got the DR classes. Those are the classes that I, for most players, think should build DR. It's going to be the safe and the oftentimes smart choice. On the other end, we have the classes that I think should always build evasion. More or less, again, there is exceptions. Uh, and then the classes in the middle are the classes that can build either DR or evasion uh, and will benefit greatly depending on playstyle. So let's just go over it real quick. Um, what makes a class a DR class and what makes a class a potential evasion class? The answer is very simple. All classes are by default DR classes. Um, being able to build evasion to great benefit is more the exception than the rule. So every class works with DR. It just gives you more damage, but it doesn't bring you survivability. To really make evasion shine, you need evasion passives or evasion self buffs or just very high base evasion stats. The thing about evasion is the more you have, the greater it becomes. The best way I can illustrate this is a simple uh, thought experiment. Uh, or just look at math, right? Uh, let's say you have 0% evasion. Somebody's hitting you, they hit all the attacks. If you gain 1% evasion, you reduce the damage you take on average by 1%. However, let's say that you have 98% evasion against somebody hitting you and you gain 1% evasion. Again, you only gain 1%, but you effectively halved the damage you take because you went from taking, well, 2% of the damage to only 1%. So this should illustrate why the more evasion you have, the better it becomes. And that's why the classes that uh, either are the, uh, evasion classes or can build evasion, they, they have some of those uh, additional bonuses. They either have really high base uh, evasion on the, the character sheet stats, or they have self buffs with, uh, with percentage evasion buffs, or they have passive with percentage evasion buffs. All of those things make a big difference in the value of the survivability that evasion brings. And the DR classes don't really have that. They might have DR self buffs and everything, but it's, it doesn't work as well. Uh, there's way more limit to DR survivability stacking than this with evasion. Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, then we're gonna have to look at the classes. Uh, so first off, the DR, build DR, they don't have any of that. They don't really benefit from the evasion. So in general, they should build uh, DR. More damage and they do benefit survivability from the DR. The evasion uh, classes, Striker, Mystic, Assassin, and Shy, uh, they are classes that benefit great from it, uh, a lot of times more than other, but they're also classes that it's sort of required on. Um, melee classes, they have to be sort of tanky to do what it is they want to do. Obviously, you can build a glass cannon build on those classes as well, but it's more the exception than the rule. Right, then we have to look at the DR or evasion classes. We got classes like Sorg and Musa Maver, etc, etc. These are all classes that uh, have the option to build evasion or DR because they benefit greatly from either build. Uh, I like to take Sorg as an example. I use this in my uh, evasion guide as well. And for a reason, Sorg has some of the best evasion uh, percentages, passives and buffs in the game. So it can actually become one of the most tanky classes there are. And should you build DR or evasion? Well, it depends. What do you want out of your class? What do you want to value? Uh, and that can also a lot of times depend on what kind of content you do. Let's say that you are doing uh, large scale sieging, uh, node wars, 100 versus 100. A lot of the time, the addition of uh, survivability gets negated the more people are hitting you. Think about it like this. 
Let's say you gain 10% uh, survivability and you're fighting one guy. That means that guy needs to hit you 10% harder to kill you. But what if you're fighting 10 guys? I mean, 10% survivability gets divided out with the amount of people hitting you. However, with damage increases, you get multiplied. So let's say you gain 10, per, like say, let's say you get uh, 10 damage on your attacks. If you're hitting one guy, well, you gain 10 damage. But if that same attacks hit 10 guy, you just build 100 more damage. So that's why you see a lot of these classes building DR if they're focusing on large scale, sieging and node wars, because well, your damage gets multiplied, but your survivability gets divided. Uh, that's the best way I can illustrate this or, or talk about this. So if you're not really into that, um, then maybe you want to focus a bit more on the survivability, right? Because you get more value. If you're more into one versus one or even like small scale skirmish, survivability becomes really powerful. Um, and also depending on your playstyle, you can make say a uh, evasion sort work in seats level your content. Let's say your, your job is to go in and disrupt the enemy. You go into a group like straight into the, the enemy ball and you're iframing around, you're throwing CCs, you're making them focus you and you still deal really good damage with evasion. Um, then having that survivability, let's say you get caught, you have a solid chance of actually surviving if you're building more tanky. So all of these things you have to keep in mind for what it is you want to do. Another great example is uh, Ninja and Kuno. They are like assassin classes. Maybe you want to go in, you want to blow everything up and want to try to get out. Or maybe you want to stay in the fight. Maybe you want to focus on the one versus one where you are going to get caught at times. You can't always be Naruto and just run around and style and kiss, right? Once in a while, you're going to get caught. And if you have that bit extra survivability, you might survive the combo. Fighting people and getting comboed in BA is not the same thing. So in an actual fight, survivability goes longer than you think it does. Okay, now what are the advantages and disadvantages of building uh, DR, last cannon damage, or evasion, tanky? Now, an actual in-game balanced DR build versus an in-game balanced evasion build are extremely similar. Um, you get a lot of AP with the Nuver and the DR build, however, you don't need as much. Once you go, once you go over that 309, a lot of times you're gonna start switching out accessories, uh, builds and everything for more uh, DR or accuracy. The best way I can describe the difference between going DR and going evasion at end game is they're very close in a balanced build. A DR build will often sacrifice AP for more survivability with knocks or things like that. And uh, an evasion build, well, you're going to be running Kudom and Distos and everything. So the total stats are actually very, very close, except one has Dia, another one has evasion. However, the big difference is the route you can take from there. In a DR build, you have the option of sacrificing survivability for more damage. And in an evasion build, you have the option to sacrifice damage for more survivability. That is the big difference between those two things. In a DR build, you might be running Narc in a balance build, but you have the option to put on Distos, to put on Dawns, to trade out AP uh, for, say, a Luna Nick with accuracy. And in an evasion build, you have the option to uh, trade off AP, throw on a Centaur build, a Sizzle Necklace, things like this to make you more tanky. Uh, another little unseen advantage with a uh, DR build is actually the offhand. Um, this is one of those things that people oftentimes oversee. In general, in a balanced build, the advantage of DR is that you have more accuracy. Um, you have more AP, but you after 309, you actually start to swap that out for more accuracy in your build. However, you don't do that with a Kudom and a Evasion build. You're going to have high AP, 309, no problem in the end game, and you're going to have a lot of survivability with evasion. However, the offhand is key. Uh, the difference between a Nuva build and a Kudum build with the offhand is 13 AP. But you will probably be around 309 in total stats with both. 
What happens is when you put on an accuracy offhand, the AP difference between the accuracy offhand and a Nuver is way bigger than the AP difference between a Kudum and the accuracy offhand. So let's say you're an evasion build and you need accuracy, you can put on that Vanguard shield or the equivalent for other classes, and you're only gonna lose uh, a fraction of the AP compared to if you had the same base AP, but a Nuver to begin with. So there's a lot more customization advantages between these two builds. A lot of the times, um, I personally think that people undervalue or underestimate the, the power of the survivability innovation builds. With artifacts and also, surprisingly enough, with the Nebraska helmet, evasion builds got way stronger. So I can tell you my thoughts on this. If I were any of these uh, DR or evasion classes, I personally would build evasion. However, I'm also a fat fingered boomer playing on 200 ping. I'm gonna get caught. I'm not uh, a fast uh, gamer anymore. So maybe if you are the new gamer guard, you are Mr. Naruto himself. Maybe you can get away with not getting caught. Just outplay people, go full damage and make that shine. It's all up to you. You can't really make a wrong choice here. So enjoy yourself.